here we go with a live look at Cleveland's North Collinwood neighborhood tonight where a water main break sent water spilling onto the road. This is what it looked like on Hillgrove earlier. You can see the water. Look at this bubbling up from the street. Cleveland Water says it was a leak from a six inch main and crews are working on repairs. But that was not the biggest issue the water department dealt with today. Hours earlier, a water main break in Richmond Heights created this mess. Water was still pouring onto the streets hours after that break. Let's take a look at the map now showing all of the neighborhoods still under a boil advisory because of that break stretching into parts of South Euclid, Lyndhurst and other east side communities as well. The break happened in a 54 inch main under Highland Road and while thankfully city leaders say they have not had any reports of water actually getting into people's homes. They can't start to fix the road until water crews are done repairing the line. It's very unlikely that it's going to be safe to open the road uh, with any sort of a temporary repair. Well, you know this here in Northeast Ohio, we are no strangers to seeing water main breaks this time of year. But if it keeps happening, what's being done to fix it? News 5 investigator Scott Knoll went looking for that answer today. Scott is live with what he has found. Yeah, Rob, water main breaks like this one have almost become a sign of the season here in Northeast Ohio. That's because experts say as the temperature drops and the ground freezes, it puts more pressure on those pipes. And in a city with aging infrastructure, that can quickly push things to a breaking point. The sound of a jackhammer marking another broken main for Cleveland water crews. From city neighborhoods to suburban streets, the chair of Case Western Reserve University's Civil and Environmental Engineering Department not surprised. Uh, actually, it's not unexpected because this happened again and again. Bill Yu studied 50 years of Cleveland water main break data for a project aimed at better predicting breaks. He says when temperatures drop below freezing or zero Celsius, the chances of a water main break jump considerably. The temperature decrease to sub zero degree, we see a linear increase in the uh, failure probability, like uh, triple times or even more. He says concrete pipes like the one that broke today in Richmond Heights can become more brittle in the cold. Cleveland Water says this stretch of transmission line has had issues in the past, including this break in October 2020, just yards from today's. The Water Department spokesperson says contractors are expected to begin bidding on an overhaul of the 64-year-old main early next year. If that sounds old, use research found something else. Obviously, it's like a middle age, <laughs> maybe closer to the uh, to the slightly uh, towards the younger part. Because Cleveland Water had a lot of pipe. Uh, I think maybe maybe like a 40 percent of the pipe, maybe 100 year uh, older. Cleveland Water says it spends 25 million dollars a year replacing water mains, but consider this: the overhaul of less than a mile of that line that broke today is expected to cost six and a half million dollars for just under 4,000 feet of a system of more than 5,000 miles of pipes. So what about that federal infrastructure bill? Is there money in there that could help upgrade some of these water mains that just keep on breaking? A Cleveland Water Department spokesperson told us they're still not sure how much money may be available, adding they'll take advantage of any help they can get. Live on Cleveland's East Side, I'm News 5 investigator Scott Knoll. Scott, thank you. This is cold, hard work, too. We first told you about this water main break in Richmond Heights on Good Morning Cleveland. We kept you up to date on the impacts both on air and online. And, of course, we will bring you the latest as well.